Hello friends, welcome to this part of the video series on chatbot development and to end project. In the previous part, we have created our telegram bot and we have the API key for that bot. So I will copy the API key. I will click on the text where it says you find it at. So this is our chatbot. We don't have any conversation yet with the board. I'll head over to dialog flow. Under integration section, I'll scroll down where I see telegram. I'll click on that. Here, it will ask for telegram token. Since I have started the telegram board already, I'll stop that. It will ask me for telegram board token. I'll provide the token and I'll start the connection. It will take few seconds to connect the telegram board. Once it is connected, we can head over to telegram and we can start the conversation. Voila, you can see we got the response back. Now, it's a asking for uh, label, let's say seven. Let's taste the chatbot. It will say, we don't have level seven at this time. Please select a difficulty level between number one to five, let's say five. And you can see it asks the first question. Now, if this doesn't work, make sure your uh, node and ngrock is connected and ngrock URL of that ngrock is provided to dialog flow here. Okay, once these three things are set up, you can test your chatboard. Now, once you are satisfied with the functionality of the chatboard on your local machine, it's time to deploy the webhook on server. For that, we will use render. So in the next part of the video, we will use render to deploy our webhook and connect the live URL from render and provide it to Dialogflow and check the connection one more time. If you like my work, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps. Thank you for watching. Peace.